Here's a quadratic equation. A x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero. For absolutely no reason, I'm going to assume the solution is a form x equals n plus square root of m. The negative root works similarly, and I'm lazy, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show faster. Um, if you substitute x into here and expand, you get a n squared plus 2 a n square root of m plus a m plus b n plus b square root of m plus c is equal to 0. Now, because everything here is a rational number, we can equate the sum of the rational parts to 0 and equate the sum of the two terms of the radical to 0. And after we do that, we get two equations. We get a n squared plus a n plus b n plus c is equal to 0. And we can equate that to 0. I can divide out the root m. And we get 2 a n plus b is equal to 0. And we can immediately solve the second one and get n is equal to minus b over 2a, which is the first part of a quadratic equation if you look at the x. So it's working out. Yay. OK. And then we can substitute what we got here into the first equation. We get b squared over 4a plus a m minus b squared over 2a plus c equals, is equal to 0. And we can rearrange all the terms, so only a m is on the left side. We get b squared over 4a minus c on the other side. And uh, we can common denominate that. b squared minus 4ac over 4a. And if we divide by a, we get that m is equal to b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. Okay, now going back to the original form of our equation, we have n, we have m, we can substitute those back in, we get x is equal to negative v over 2a, plus the square root of this whole thing, and the bottom is a perfect square, it's 2a squared. So, we get the square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Good job.